Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today, I'm just going to try to do a quick video showing you how I use designs that I've purchased and I turn them into patches by adding a border using Embrilliant Stitch Artist. Okay, so this is my screen in Embrilliant. Um, the first thing that I want to do is pull up my design. I need to know what design I'm going to be using to actually create a patch. So I'm going to go over to file. Then I'm going to go down to merge stitch file. Now it's going to pull up the designs or you may have to search through and find your designs, but because I've been working in this folder, it automatically went back to this area. I'm going to go ahead and use this burger. I don't know what size I'm using. Let's see, let's do the four by four burger. I think that's the four by four. It is. Okay, but I'm going to take it out of the four by four frame because now I'm going to put a border around it, which will make it a lot bigger than four by four. So anyways, we have our design pulled up on our screen and it's sitting in our hoop. The next thing that I need to do, because I do have Stitch Artist level three, I am going to come over here to the create uh, option. So I'm going to select create. It's the button that looks like, it's, it looks like a curved straw or something, or maybe a pipe or something, but it's this button. When it's clicked on, it opens up all these other options, okay? So... Now what I need to do, I need to select my burger, <clears throat> excuse me. I need to select my burger so that that design is highlighted and I will be able to do a border around it. To create the border, I need to select the create an outline from stitches option. And it's this button right here. I hope that you can see it's kind of lit up a little bit. So I'm going to click that. It gives me a border going all the way around the design that's on the screen. So while I still have this outline highlighted or selected, I wanna make it a little bit further away from the actual design so that when I add my border, it's not hugging the, de the design so closely. To do this, while it's uh, still highlighted or selected, I am going to select this inflate objects button. Now, once the inflate objects button has been selected, I am going to come over to where it says outline and I'm gonna increase that outline. I like to go to right about five millimeters, okay? Now, I always select remove holes just because sometimes there'll be a design that maybe there's a, a, a earring or there's something that, you know, has a hole in it that I don't want to have a border because it's going to all be stitched. I just want to border around the actual outside of the design. So I select remove holes. Then I click OK. Now we have our border. Now you see all of these little circles going around here. Those are areas that your needle is going to go down. So if you can delete some of those so that there aren't so many. And if you need to just kind of readjust by moving your, your nodes around so that you keep you can keep the, si the shape that you want without so many of those uh, points where your needle is gonna go down. So let me go back and highlight that again, select the outline again. The next thing I wanna do, once I have it inflated and it's moved away from the design, I want to add the border that's going to actually give it its patch feature. So you, ha you have a couple of options, okay? And this is with Stitch Artist 3. I do not know if you have these other options or which options you have in level one and level two. So I do apologize for that, but I'm just not sure. And I don't want to tell you something that might not be right. So this is how I do it with level three. Once the outline is, is highlighted and I have it in the um, inflation that I want, I go to the applique option so that I can give it a satin border. 
Now, with level three, you also have that marrowing, marrowing option so that you can have the marrow stitch edge. And the marrow, let me just select that and I'll zoom in so that you could kind of see what I'm talking about because the marrowed edge will give you this here, which is what you traditionally see with a patch. But um, what I don't like about it is I can't make it as wide as I can make my satin borders if I choose the applique feature. So I am going to take that marrowing off. I don't want it to be marrowed. I'm going to change it to an applique. So I'm going to select applique and it defaulted to the satin stitch border because that's the border that I've been using. But if you look down here in the lower right hand corner, you'll see where it says satin. You have options to use or create different edges, okay? You could do your blanket stitch edge. You could do your zigzag. You know, you have some other options here, but I'm going to stick to the satin, okay? And then the next thing that I want to show you, you do see where it's not really as wide right now. It's the stitch width is at three. I'm going to inflate that to about 4.5 just so I can have a nice, big, chunky stitch. Uh, a chunky border. And then I am going to go over to the tie to make sure that it's tied off at beginning and end. And let's go back to that part. So now when it comes to where the needle or where, where that stitch is going to start and stop, if it's going to start in a funky place, you can always hover over that or select on the bows so that you can drag those to where you want those stitches to start and stop at, okay? And for a satin border, I just like for it to start and stop at the same spot so that you're not having weird tie-offs in too many places. Now, I'm gonna come back over here, make sure that the applique is selected. I am now gonna go over to the color section. With the applique, you're gonna have three colors because you're uh, traditionally, you're gonna have your placement stitch, your tack down stitch and then the border, right? So to make sure that I have three distinct color stops or on a single needle, making sure that the machine recognizes that it needs to be stopped, I'm gonna change that middle color to just a random different color so that the machine doesn't think that all of these are gonna be the same color. And so now I've got three colors. That's the placement. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but you got your placement, your tack down, and your actual border. And I don't worry too much about the colors in here because with DST, it doesn't really save the colors. I always have to go back on my machines and program the colors to what I actually want. But if you want to program your colors and print them off, that's something you, you can definitely do. So now that I am done with assigning the border, I want to change the order because I want the placement tack down and the satin border to be stitched first and then the design to be filled in. So I'm going to select the outline and I'm going to right click and put first. Okay. So the next thing is we've got to combine these two because technically this outline and this burger are two different designs sitting here, okay? And we know that because you've got your two plus buttons. So I'm using a PC. I'm not sure about Mac users, but for a PC, you want to press down and hold the control button and select both designs. And then you can lift your hand off the control. Just make sure that both designs are selected. And then you're gonna come over to create. You're gonna go over to design and then combine designs, okay? That way you can combine all your designs. And it is gonna look a little funny after this point because the design that was not created by you is going to show up as a shape, okay? So the pre the purchase design is going to show up as a shape, okay? And then you've got your applique up here that's got three different colors, but it's all in one design. So now you are ready to go up to file, 
save stitch file as, and you just save it to wherever you need to save it so that you can send it to your machine. And that is it. So I thank you all for stopping by today. If you have any questions, um, definitely let me know. Uh, leave it down in the comments. And until next time, keep taking care of yourselves.